What's going on YouTube? This is Ricky J back at you with another one and today we're going to be featuring two of the I would say I would say the most popular creators when it comes to the creation zone in WWE 2K23 It's what's the status and rebel without a cause are going to be featured in this video uh, Big shout outs to my good buddy Matty Ice for his great work on the creations um, he was featured in various videos before but in this video we're gonna be featuring what's the status who people know so much about but I don't think people know about rebel without a cause as much as what's the status and he is absolutely incredible so you're gonna see the top tier created wrestlers in WWE 2k23 I want to tell you the winner of this is gonna punch their ticket to the champions rumble times a ticket brother Time's a ticking, and I am not controlling anybody for this video. Just I want to see how things go. And look who's coming in at one. Straight out of Space Jam. It's Bugs Bunny. And I got to say, man, Space Jam 1 is... <laughs> it's got to be in my top 10 favorite movies of all time. I love Michael Jordan. I was saying this to a buddy of mine just the other day, that Michael Jordan's my favorite basketball player I would go, this is what I would do. I would go, Michael Jordan's my number one. Number two, Scottie Pippen. Number three is Kobe. And number four is Vince Carter. Yes. Vince Carter, Vince Sanity. But uh, I loved this movie, Space Jam. And for all you guys that don't know, TRT Bugs Bunny has already punched his ticket to the Champions Rumble, where we take all the winners of 30 previous Rumbles and put them all in one. So could it be TRT Bugs and Space Jam Bugs Bunny in one rumble. We shall soon see. But let's see who Bugs is going to face to kick things off. And I got to say, how on point is that Bugs Bunny, man? That is incredible. Incredible. And what is this? It's Macho. No, it's not Macho Man. It's Bonesaw McGraw. And for all you guys that do not know, Macho Man Randy Savage, yeah, I was in Spider-Man. Oh, yeah, let me tell you something right now. They had to pay me the cream of the crop salary, but I did it, yeah. I did it for the fans, and I did it for me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, yes, Macho Man was in Spider-Man Bonesaw McGraw. He's a professional wrestler from New York City. The character was created for the film, and it... You know, Bonesaw McGraw never appeared in any comics, in any Marvel comics. But uh, he was in Spider-Man. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> that was back in 2002, I believe. But I got to tell you, man, this version of Macho Man, speaking of TRT, he is juice to the gills here. He is massive. Bigger than Triple H. Bigger than Hogan. And holy cow, let's see if he could... Win the biggest match of his life. Oh, and he missed. And what a job by Bugs. Using that agility. And that's what you got to do. What you got to do, brother. Oh, nice job there by Bonesaw. Oh, nice little jawbreaker. It was one of my favorite snacks back in the day. You ever have a jawbreaker in the 80s and 90s? Buy it from the variety store. You try to bite it when it's not ready. You break your jaw. That's why it's called a jawbreaker. But the best feeling ever was when you're... When you had it in your mouth for like 20 minutes and then you were able to finally bite through it, it turned into gum. It was so satisfying. And how about this? Rocky Maivia. That ain't Bruno Mars. It's Rocky Maivia. <laughs> A younger version of The Rock. I love this. And he's, um, he's a such a smart guy. Wow. A young Rocky Maivia. Very smart in his tactics. Understanding. To take his time when he comes into... Oh, he took his time and still got served with a DDT. And now Atomic Drop. Oh, no, right between the cheeks. And here comes I Show Speed. Super popular YouTuber. I Show Speed. I don't, how many subscribers? I think he has like 16 million subscribers. Unbelievable. I Show Speed. My favorite I Show Speed moment was when he scored... Uh, in that soccer charity game and it was a fantastic goal beautiful touch but he was offside but he didn't know it and he was celebrating and then he lost his mind when he found out it was an offside so let's see if he doesn't go offside here 
and gets the victory. That would be incredible. Coming in only at four. And here comes Santos Escobar at 20. Sorry, Santos Escobar from 2020 coming in at five. And rocking the man bun here. Oh, nice job hopping over. Look at the face paint on him. That is so nice, man. And these characters take a lot of time, man. Especially when you're trying to mimic their real life counterparts it, it takes a long time man so you gotta show the love when the effort is put in and this is effort 10 out of 10 that's for sure so let's see who's coming in now kyle o'reilly let's see how kyle o'reilly does rolling in at six so here he goes oh he's going right after somebody more in his weight class I show speed, kind of getting ragdolled here. Look at this move. Wow, is he going with the trifecta here? Wow, goes with the trifecta right on point with the commentator. Oh, and he tried to, I'm telling you, it's tough to see Bugs, man. Bugs is able to get out of the way. That slim build by Bugs. Oh, wow. And um, he got that trifecta negated. And here comes Batman at seven. Batman at seven. Let's see. How the Dark Knight does leaving the cape in the locker room. But I'm telling you, all the guys that are in here right now, I would be very uh, unsure, very worried about Mr. Bonesaw McGraw. You know, you're seeing a juiced up savage. A guy that finally is getting the, uh, I would say, the advantage in the strength department. And now is he going to throw this bunny out? It's like he's throwing him off his balcony. No. And here comes Ric Flair. Now, Ric Flair, correct me if I'm wrong, he was in WWE 2K22, but then they took him out of WWE 2K23. And now we're seeing a creation that is so spot on, man. That is absolutely perfecto, brother. Absolutely perfecto. So, yeah, go. I'll leave the description of both of these guys. And all you got to do is just put their names in the hashtag when you search or put their name in the creator name okay what's the status and rebel without a cause for rebel you could always type rebel cause as well and you'll find his guys as well so <laughs> see what happens but after all of this let's see which guy is going to be the winner the victor brother who's gonna be the victor is it going to be anybody that we're seeing here right now in this ring? You just never know, brother. Nice power slam by Bruno Mars. I mean, Rocky Maivia. Oh, and again. Nice job, Rocky Maivia. The youth. He's utilizing his speed, his endurance. Oh, and he's eliminated. I show speed. It seems like Rocky Maivia is now has gone berserk here in the ring. He's taken all comers, but out of all people, I wouldn't go after or maybe you should go after Batman, but Batman springs right back up. Wow, I'm keeping my eyes locked on Maya Villa. He hasn't slowed down, man. He hasn't slowed down. He's going after everybody. He, oh, finally, Bugs. Is he going to... Oh, Bugs Bunny has put a halt to the freight train in Rocky Maya Villa. <laughs> and now Maya Villa didn't like it that he's getting attacked by a buddy. And is he going to launch him over? Bugs is hanging on. Come on. Oh. And that would be interesting if we see... Members of the Monstars, you know, rolling in. Oh. And uh, I was in a basketball league a while ago, and we named ourselves the Monstars. It was so funny, man. People would laugh at us all the time when they would face us. They're like, we were expecting to face monsters. And then I'm like, no, we are Monstars, brother. <laughs> you got to get my humor sometimes. You got to get my humor. But oh, sweet shit music. O'Reilly is O'Dunny, baby. And now it looks like Escobar may be done. Oh, he should be charging forward. Oh, yes, you should be. As Flair has gotten his first elimination. And now, wow, beautiful back body drop. He's going right after Batman. Batman says no way. Rocky Maivia with a nice counter right hand on Bonesaw McGraw. Bonesaw McGraw, to me, still looks pretty fresh. Uh-oh. He could be in some trouble. He could be in some trouble. Don't eliminate Bonesaw McGraw. You're going to break my heart. No way. He just got eliminated. 
And here comes Muscle. Oh, no. There goes Bugs. Muscle Bob. What is his name? Buff Pants? This guy loves his sauce. He's not too big. But um, Spongebob, I like how he um, kind of twisted the name. Made a nice little twist with the words there. He's changed up his name. And this guy is a force going right after the Dark Knight. And are we going to see some dark days for Muscle Bob Buff Pants? He's trying. That's like a great costume for Halloween. I know Halloween's a little far away, brother. But it's not too early to lock in your costume. And that would be hilarious if you go to a house party. Uh, oh, no. There goes Maya Villa. And we're seeing some quick eliminations. And Muscle Bob Buff Pants was not too happy that Flair did that. And now Ric Flair. I feel like he's on the offense, but I feel like the pace here is too much to handle. No, it's too cool to touch and too hot to handle. Indeed. And now could Flair get sent packing here? Big right hand. Oh, but Batman saves Flair as we're seeing a young Jey Uso 2014 you know it's crazy when somebody says oh 2014 was such a long time ago it really was but it doesn't seem like it was that long ago 2014 wasn't that the Winter Olympics Team Canada man that was one of the best performances of men's hockey in the Olympics it was never in doubt brother never in doubt but shout out to all the other countries as well man here we go, Mick Foley, as Batman is done. Mick Foley coming in, and it's the shaved head Foley. Uh, every time I see that vest, man, I think of like somebody going camping. <laughs> Where are the barbecue burgers? Where's the RV? It's such a camping thing to wear. Oh, a nice job by Jey Uso. Oh, and then buff pants. Coming in, showcasing his skills, his strength. And this is this is very interesting to see, man. The, the whole season, here comes Retro Kane, has been a random affair, you know. Oh, there's a shot to the Hulk of ADX. But it's been a random affair. And now seeing these guys coming in, just a random mis mishmash of created guys. It's a treat, brother. It's a treat. Oh, nice job by Buff Pants. Oh, he's got to watch the booty shot, though. Buff pants now. Oh, don't do it to the guy. Oh, gave him a nice little swinging neck breaker. And oh, nice right hand by Mick Foley, who is coming in now. Shawn Michaels, 1997. And this is primetime Shawn Michaels when he was on top of the WWF universe. Kicking button, taking names. Don't tell me. No. Oh, you can't be doing that. To a former rocker alumni. <laughs> Come on. That was just unbelievable. You know, I've said this before. No, don't eliminate Sean. I like Shawn Michaels more when he was a member of the Rockers over when he was... Oh, the Heartbreak Kid. And that's Heartbreak City right there. Man, don't talk highly about anybody inside this ring. Because it's the Ricky J. Jinx, man. As Triple H, Retro Triple H is coming in. Where's that water bottle, brother? I am drinking a water bottle. There's nothing in it, but... Oh, teaming up with Flair. Oh, nice kick there by Flair. How about that? It's every man to himself right here, right now. As Uzo getting saved by Triple H. I have a question. We did the Strongman Rumble. And a buddy of mine... <laughs> He's like, why didn't you put Triple H in there? Here comes the Joker. Oh, there goes Flair. And then I'm like, I never considered Triple H as being a super strong man. When he was, uh, what, what was his name? Hunter Hearst Helmsley. Remember before he became Triple H? When he was that like kind of, um, oh, I don't know how to put it, but very like upper rich kind of guy, you know, royalty kind of guy, kind of persona. He wasn't a strong guy. So, I don't know. And then when he started getting big and lifting, ended up getting big. But I never considered him as being a super strong guy. But anyway, here comes Hogan, but with no bandana. I used to hate that in games when they would have the Hulkster and he wouldn't rock his beautiful hair. As if we got elimination. Who just got eliminated? 
Who just got eliminated? They're not showing that person's going a different route or not. Oh, it's Uzo. And I've said this before. I think I said this in a live stream. When I was younger and I would watch Hogan wrestle, he would have that nice, oh, there goes the Joker, blonde hair, and it wasn't sweaty. And I used to think it was like he had some kind of like trick that he would do in his match. Here comes Patrick Starr where he would like spray his hair with water because before you knew it, his hair was soaking wet. But like you would blink, well, you know what I'm trying to say? It would be dry once, and then you would blink, it'd be soaking wet. But that guy, he just sweated like a, a wild man. <laughs> so he was able to uh, generate enough sweat to make his hair look like he just got out of the shower. But anyway, back to the action. How about this freak in the ring? Patrick Starr, don't do it all. Gaining flight, and it was a crash landing on the chest. And how about that? That is incredible. Buff Pants and Patrick Starr working together. These two old buddies. <laughs> Can't get it done. Can't get it done. But that was a treat to see as the giant coming in. Wow, this is a young giant. I'm telling you, that was a highlight for me, seeing Buff Pants and Patrick Starr. You know, going back to their roots. Work it together. Oh, missed time by Patrick. That was missed time by Patrick. Don't tell me. Oh, nice job. Nice job by Patrick. As he's trying to, wow, fend off Hogan and Triple H. Oh, the Ulster gets sent for right. Here comes Sting. Sting, NWO Sting. You know what's nuts? Like, I don't think Sting was in the end. I didn't think Sting was in the NWO and... If he was, I don't think he was in there for very long. But Red Sting? Let me know for all you guys that know the history of Sting. I thought he was always so loyal to the WCW. But the Hulkster and Bischoff had his ways of making people turn heel. And the Hogan still in it. Here comes the demon, Finn Balor. Don't call him Baylor. Ooh! Who was that? It's Triple H is done. Finn Balor being greeted by Patrick Starr. And Patrick Starr then getting a hug from behind. Kind of reminds me of my old girlfriend, brother. We're not getting into that. Oh, that was the best way to say hello when you're waiting. <laughs> Wait, this is silly, brother. You're waiting by your locker and you get that hug from behind. Best way to start your day. Here we go. Back to the action. That's Buff Pants. Could be in some trouble. Patrick Starr needs to help out his buddy. Hogan can't get Red Sting out of there. And now Finn Balor could be in some trouble as Patrick Starr is going to lift him up. Oh, what happened there? What happened there? It's Oh, it's like he tweaked his back and then he's like, you know what, brother? I'm going to save my back and just throw you over. And what a job by Patrick Starr. As now, oh, telegraphing that choke attempt was the giant, and now Buff Pants. Oh, nice shot to the booty. But there's a lot of meat there. He's grabbing that hair. Oh, wow, nice counter elbow by the giant. And that's all he could have done there to save himself from that situation. As now Buff Pants slowly going to the side, trying to relax, trying to regain himself as Patrick Starr getting thrown to the stars there. And up he comes like nothing. Springs up like nothing. Oh, and he goes to get payback. What a shot by Star. And let's see, Retro Batista is Buff Pets now. <laughs> Buff Pets is going to pass out, man. Or that suit is going to pop <laughs> with all that air in it. But that is so bad as now Batista. He's a bad man. Shoutouts to Guardians of the Galaxy. He is tremendous in that movie or movies. But here we go. Let's see. Oh, no. Buff Pants and Patrick Starr have now said forget about our friendship. Oh, they both. That, that, here comes Adam Pierce. But that interaction there got them both into big time trouble. As the Giant deciding to leave Buff Pants. And here comes Mr. Pierce. 
with the announcer's uh, attire, not retire. Coming in, somebody forgot to tell him, you're in a rumble, brother. You're in a rumble, why aren't you dressed for the occasion? Let me know in the comments, okay? This is totally random, but that's the season. Have you ever had a situation where you went to a social event and you dressed incorrectly for the occasion? Let me know, brother. Let me know. I'm trying to think if that ever happened to me where you were at a place where you were supposed to dress a certain way and you dressed another way and you were pretty embarrassed the whole time and you were waiting for the night to basically end. But anyway, back to the action. Old man Hogan could be not done. Wow, what? Oh my goodness. I can't believe the Giant just did that to Batista. You would think Batista would have more fight. A younger Batista? Getting thrown out like that? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> that is tough stuff, man. And look at Batista. He's not even, he didn't even break a sweat. He just got launched over. And let's see if the Giant's going to get launched over. Pierce using those shiny boots to slow down the Hulkster. And now Patrick Starr is a Hulkamaniac. Tries to save Hogan. And now the Hulkster going after. Oh, man. Mick Foley getting the best of him there. So this is uh, all back and forth. We got two, four, six, seven guys in there. And could Sting be done? Oh, the Giant. Oh! Epic move by Sting. And that is crazy. Look at Batista on the treadmill there. Oh, no. Hopefully this doesn't glitch the game. We've seen this before <laughs> where they just start... <laughs> Burning calories on this treadmill outside the ring. Oh, no. Hopefully, when the giant leaves, he will kind of push that character out here we're going to see here. <laughs> Don't tell me the giant. If the giant joins the treadmill, this game may glitch out, which will be absolutely horrible because you may not see it. Oh, he's joined the treadmill as well. Oh, my goodness. But Batista's gone. But anyway, who cares about that? Back to the action. Back to the action. We got the uh, treadmill tracker as now Patrick Starr could be done. No. Nice job by Patrick Starr. Elbow to Hogan. A right hand to McFoley. And then he goes back to his old buddy. Oh, what a tag team move that was. Buff Pants and Patrick Starr working together to eliminate McFoley. And now they're elbowing each other. And how about this savage? Wow. And I'm telling you, the mannerisms, the movement of that savage is better than the Savage in this game. You know? You see how, oh no, there goes Buff Pants. But how Savage was moving with that elbow and how he was kind of walking around, just how he, how he is. This is the perfect Savage, in my opinion. Please let him stay in longer. Please let him stay in longer as Pierce could be in some trouble here. How did they get his movement so on point? I just don't get it, man. I just absolutely don't get it. I don't get the treadmill though as well. The treadmill watcher. <laughs> oh no. No, there's two. But anyway, back to the action. Hogan's still in there. Patrick Starr's still in there. Here comes Kofi Kingston at 24. Pierce, he's going to tombstone him? No! He gave him the tombstone and now he's not done. Following that up with an elbow and just so you guys know I know I said this in the beginning but these are all created wrestlers all of these are which you gotta kick back and just admire the talent here holy cow man but anyway Sting could be stung here as Patrick Starr has hoisted him up to the rafters well not quite but he's eliminated him and now Savage, oh, with the knee lift. That is signature Savage with the knee lift. Give him that elbow, brother. Standing elbow. But now he's throwing Patrick Starr. Could be in some trouble. Here comes T-Bar 22. Coming in at 25. Could T-Bar be the one here? T-Bar. I thought he had like a... I thought he had a shaved head, but anyway. Going after Hogan. Hogan, nice job there. Wow, and Savage tried to take a swipe at Hogan. Are we going to see? <laughs> weren't, weren't they called? The, they were called the Mega Powers, right? Oh. Oh, 
man, Hogan slowly going to the side here to gather himself. Pierce is done. Here comes Adam Cole. Adam Cole at 26. Look at this guy going right after Savage. Standing drop kick lands it. And now, uh oh, whoa, we haven't we haven't seen. Oh, now I was just gonna say Savage and Hogan kind of lock horns here, and now we're finally seeing the old foes. Oh, nice duck under by Hogan, and then a right hand, but then that was negated there by T-Bar, and now Savage with the signature left jab. Look at that, and now with the headlock. <laughs> And the double X handle. Oh, but that all got stopped. And now, no, no! Hulkster's done. And now, oh, look at that strength by Savage. Savage always had that, you know, strength that people never really mentioned, in my opinion. He would always slam guys. Did he try to slam Andre when he had a feud with Andre? I don't think he ever did. But I think he tried to. He almost broke his back doing it. But now... We have Keith Lee fresh in there, coming in at a super nice number. The chances of him winning this Rumble are pretty high up there, especially if he could continue mounting an offense. But we shall see now, Kofi Kingston. Keith Lee, Kofi Kingston. Wow, nice reversal by him. And now Savage going right after Lee. Here we go. Bo Baron Corbin? I think this is Corbin with the hair. Oh, yes. With the long locks. Going right after T-Bar. Nice shoulder charge right there. Stopping him right in his tracks. And now you got Savage, who may be done here. Is Adam Cole looking for something? Looking for an opportunity to eliminate Savage. But Savage says no way. And now Savage turning the tables on him. He's picking him up. Look at Macho Man. Technical scoop and slam. And now, oh man, nice job by Corbin. Corbin has that size advantage. Corbin's a lot more fresh. And now, what is this? <laughs> what do they call this? Oh, what move's that called? That's not the torture rack. Because he dropped him right there. That couldn't be an F5, was it? Here comes Rick O'Connell. Rick O'Connell. <laughs> this guy, man. Every time I see this guy, I think of a C Encino Man. Remember Encino Man? With, um, oh, who was in it? Was it Pauly Shore in it? Oh, man, that was a funny movie. Encino Man. But let's see how this Rick O'Connell can do here. Don't tell me, Savage. To the corner, Savage. Nice job with the counter elbow by Macho Man. And then kind of shaking the stars. And now with a right hand to the breadbasket on Corbin. Here comes Darby Allen at 30. Darby Allen. Shout outs to all you ECW guys. Darby Allen. And, sorry, AEW. <laughs> Let's see. You know, um, it was nuts, man. Because I was at Best Buy just the other day. And I saw a guy wearing a Darby Allen t-shirt. And I'm like, are you serious? That is amazing. I'm like, I can't believe it. And then, you know, it said AEW, All Elite Wrestling at the back. And I'm like, holy cow, that's a cool, cool t-shirt. And the guy's like, thanks, brother. Really nice. But then I didn't really get into it. I'm like, <laughs> I don't want the guy to think I'm a weirdo. But anyway, oh, nice job there by Darby Allen. And nice job there by Keith Lee. As T-Bar's in some trouble, Savage is in some trouble. So let's see what happens here. No more entries. As Darby Allen could be done. Savage has gotten this elimination. So well scripted, doesn't he? Just scoops him up and lets him out of there. He scoops him up like it's nothing. And now O'Connell on the receiving end of a shoulder sh charge and then an elbow. A 12 to 6 elbow standing by Savage. And now he's going after Lee. I don't think he's going to get it, man. Lee's a big boy. He gets it. Oh, he's got to be careful. What a counter elbow by Savage again. Oh, yeah. Let me tell you something right now. 
I've soared with the eagles, slithered with the snakes, swam with the crocodilly dies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's doing great things. And now we're down to the only, the final five. Kofi Kingston. Oh, nice job by Savage. And then he kicks a down opponent, which is perfectly legal. And now he's stunned. Kofi Kingston buffering. Oh, he's, he doesn't want to go after Savage. Look at Savage. He's out on his feet. Savage is dreaming about Miss Elizabeth. Oh, no. And now Corbin. Don't do it. No. Oh, T-Bar. That was very on point, man, to understand the situation. But that is... Selfishly heartbreaking, man. Heart Macho Man Randy Savage is my favorite wrestler of all time. And, um, man, it's so sad seeing him out of there. But this is the final three. Kofi Kingston, Rick O'Connell, and T-Bar. Who is going to punch their ticket to the Champions Rumble Season 7? Who is going to be victorious? Who's going to do it, man? We just don't know. Is it going to be Mr. Encino, man? <laughs> oh, Oh, nice. Wow. Oh, and look at Rick O'Connell. I think, you know, Rick O'Connell is starting to slow down, I, I would say. He's been in there not for very long, but, oh, he's not that true wrestler. He is not that true wrestler. <laughs> this is Rick O'Connell from the Mummy franchise. What was his name? Brandon... Fraser, yeah, that's it. The actor Brennan Fraser. Oh, wow. Nice job by T-Bar. Now, T-Bar doesn't have a lot left in the tank, but he still has that power to dish out some punishment. Now, if he can come together and develop a, a string of offense here, what is he going to do? He's going to spear him. Things could change, man. It's like a poker game. You win a couple rounds, brother. Oh, the tide can change. And it looks like the tide may be changing here as Kofi Kingston. Oh, he's stunned and out on his feet too. But these guys, man, when it's a triple threat, that odd. Look at that guy with the poster. <laughs> There's some guy has a poster. It says, oh, yeah, that flashed up. Was I, like, dreaming there? I got to go back and check the tape. It's been a long day for me, man. But that guy had a savage poster. And there's another one. I think it's been flashing the whole, it's been flashing the whole match. And I just noticed it right now. But that is unbelievable. Speaking of unbelievable, this final three. These three guys, man, are doing whatever it takes to stay in this rumble. And now, Rick O'Connell almost had an elimination attempt. But he was in a bad spot. But then it was saved by Kofi Kingston. And what, what, wow, what kind of submission is this? So if you look at T-Bar, wow, it's his arms that are getting jacked up right here. Oh, and he reversed it to a side slam. And now O'Connell, who was playing possum, is now unleashing his wrath of attacks. And now he's going after Kobe Kingston. Wow, nice clothesline. Almost looked like a punch there or a forearm strike. But I would call that a clothesline. And now with a big boot, Kingston gets up. Wow, we popped right back up like it was nothing. And here it is. Oh, T it looked like T-Bar was going to stop that. But now T-Bar is putting it in the old reverse. Allowing O'Connell to maybe, just maybe, get this elimination. But Kofi Kingston is trying as hard as he's staying in it. And now, uh-oh. Oh, O'Connell. Oh, oh. Gave him a knee, but nice job by Kofi Kingston to slow down T-Bar and now with a forearm strike now if I'm in Kofi Kingston's shoes man I would have gone after O'Connell but now he's got T-Bar in trouble oh I feel like he's playing with his food he lands a splash but the guy's already stunned the guy's already stunned and how about this <laughs> wow oh but O'Connell peeled him off uh, that was pretty incredible by O'Connell. Nice job by Kofi Kingston. Keeping that guard up. He's eliminated the mummy. <laughs> the mummy character. <laughs> As O'Connell is done. And now we're down to T-Bar. 
T-Bar and Kofi Kingston. These guys staring at each other. Kofi Kingston has been through so much here in this Rumble. Same with T-Bar, but I feel like Kofi Kingston's been here longer. And is he going to get it? He gets it. Anticlimactic ending. Kofi Kingston 2016 has punched his ticket to the Champions Rumble. Wow. That was incredible. There were parts during this Rumble where it looked like King Kingston was done. But he held it together. He gathered himself. And now he's pointing to the heavens saying, I'll see you at the Champions Rumble Season 7. Absolutely spectacular work. Anyways, guys, I'll catch you in the comments. I'll see you all next time. Thank you so much for being here. It means so much. Take care.